Right now, your KNOE 8 News hour by hour forecast. Welcome back. Happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day. Your time is about 5.48. You're taking a live look at the Creedy Creek Tower Cam over Monroe. Now, there's one thing you're going to notice as you step out the door today is that it is warm and it is humid. Temperatures already in the upper 80s across the region. And we did wake up to some cloud cover today, and that cloud cover didn't quite allow us to warm up into those 90 degree marks. We definitely got close, though, especially over towards the Mississippi River. So we'll uh, reach into those upper 80s, hitting around 89 for their overall high today. But as we head into the rest of the night, clear skies will fall follow us temperatures will be falling into the 80s and one thing you also might have noticed today is the humidity it is feeling sticky out there definitely that air you can wear our dew point temperatures have jumped about 13 degrees here in the last 24 hours for us in north louisiana and for those all up towards our north as well so definitely that moisture is being drawn in from the gulf of mexico all thanks to our southerly winds that are the same factor that's bringing in the heat here's a look at upper level winds in the atmosphere overlaid with temperatures you can see where our winds are coming in out of the south pulling in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, but also pulling in the warmer air from the south. And that bubble of warm air is developing across much of the Great Plains and down here in the south. If we step ahead into Tuesday, you can see where these warm temperatures, those bright reds and yellows start to reach even more up towards the north, stretching all the way up towards Wisconsin, Michigan, and portions of Minnesota as well. So a nice heat bubble is going to be building in over the next couple of days. And those warm temperatures are definitely going to be felt across the south, across the plains, and across the eastern portion of the United States. Here in uh, Monroe, we're going to be seeing temperatures well above average for the next 10 days, sitting in those 90 degree marks, tipping down into the upper 80s as we head towards the weekend, but only warming up again as we head into the later part of this month. We're going to be kind of stuck in this pattern when we start our days off cloudy, but then sunshine builds into the afternoon, and today it's very similar to what we're going to be seeing these next couple of days. So as we start the day off on Monday, temperatures in the 70s as you head out the door, nice and toasty, but cloud cover is going to be covering our skies. And depending how quickly those clouds break up and move out, it's going to depend on how warm we're going to get in the afternoons. That's going to be a key factor. And if we break some of these temperatures we're expecting to see here, but temperatures into the 90s tomorrow, cloud cover building back in for Tuesday morning, breaking up in the afternoon, allowing us to reach back into the mid-90s for Tuesday. But tonight, a nice warm evening temperatures in the 90s breezy conditions out of the south and that breeze sticks with us tomorrow as well but it's going to be a warm breeze not really a relief from the heat but those warm temperatures stick around with plenty of sunshine as we look throughout the rest of the week before more rain chances arrive for sunday saturday and friday